It's the cat's meow. To celebrate its third year of revealing stunning scenes of the cosmos in infrared light, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has clawed back the thick, dusty layers of a section within the Cat's Paw Nebula, NGC 6334. Focusing Webb's near-cam on a single toe bean within this active star-forming region reveal the subset of mini-toe beans, which appear to contain young stars shaping the surrounding gas and dust. Webb's look at this particular area of the Cat's Paw Nebula just scratches the surface of the telescope's three years of groundbreaking science. Three years into its mission, Webb continues to deliver on its design, revealing previously hidden aspects of the universe, from the star formation process to some of the earliest galaxies. As it repeatedly breaks its own records, Webb is also uncovering unknowns for new generations of flagship missions to tackle. Whether it's following up on the mysteries of dark matter with NASA's nearly complete Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, or narrowing our search for life to Earth-like planets with the Habitable Worlds Observatory, the questions Webb has raised are just as exciting as the answers it's giving us. The progression from a large molecular cloud to massive stars entails multiple steps, some of which are still not well understood by astronomers. Located approximately 4,000 light-years away in the constellation Scorpius, the Cat's Paw Nebula offers scientists the opportunity to study the turbulent cloud-to-star process in great detail. Webb's observation of the nebula in near-infrared light builds upon previous studies by NASA's Hubble and retired Spitzer Space Telescope in visible and infrared light, respectively. With its sharp resolution, Webb shows never-before-seen structural details and features. Massive young stars are carving away at nearby gas and dust, while their bright starlight is producing a bright nebulous glow represented in blue. It's a temporary scene where the disruptive young stars with their relatively short lives and luminosity have a brief but important role in the region's larger story. As a consequence of these massive stars' lively behavior, the local star formation process will eventually come to a stop. Start with the toe bean at top center, which is nicknamed the Opera House for its circular, tiered-like structure. The primary drivers for the area's cloudy blue glow are most likely toward its bottom, either the light from the bright yellowish stars or from a nearby source still hidden behind the dense dark brown dust. Just below the orange-brown tiers of dust is a bright yellow star with diffraction spikes. While this massive star has carved away at its immediate surroundings, it has been unable to push the gas and dust away to greater distances, creating a compact shell of surrounding material. Look closely to notice small patches, like the tuning fork-shaped area to the Opera House's immediate left, that contain fewer stars. These seemingly vacant zones indicate the presence of dense foreground filaments of dust that are home to still-forming stars and block the light of stars in the background. Toward the image's center are small, firing red clumps scattered amongst the brown dust. These glowing red sources mark regions where massive star formation is underway, albeit in an obscured manner. Some massive blue-white stars, like the one in the lower left toe bean, seem to be more sharply resolved than others. This is because any intervening material between the star and the telescope has been dissipated by stellar radiation. Near the bottom of that toe bean are small, dense filaments of dust. These tiny clumps of dust have managed to remain despite the intense radiation, suggesting that they are dense enough to form protostars. A small section of yellow at the right notes the location of a still and shrouded massive star that has managed to shine through intervening material. Across this entire scene are many small yellow stars with diffraction spikes. Bright blue-white stars are in the foreground of this web image, but some may be a part of the more expansive Cat's Paw Nebula. One eye-catching aspect of this web image is the bright red-orange oval at top right. Its low count of background stars implies it is a dense area just beginning its star formation process. A couple of visible and still-veiled stars are spattered throughout this region, which are contributing to the illumination of the material in the middle. 
Some still enveloped stars leave hints of their presence, like a bow shock at the bottom left, which indicates an energetic ejection of gas and dust from a bright source. Further explore this subset of tow beans by embarking on a narrated tour or getting closer to the image. We also invite you to reminisce about Webb's three years of science observations. The James Webb Space Telescope is the world's premier space science observatory. Webb is solving mysteries in our solar system, looking beyond to distant worlds around other stars, and probing the mysterious structures and origins of our universe and our place in it. Webb is an international program led by NASA with its partners ESA, European Space Agency, and CSA, the Canadian Space Agency.